it was considered as a refusal. And also I lost my job with the company that I was with. They decided to terminate me. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I got another story time for you. This young lady is going through it. Yes, yes she is. She is going through it. Unfortunately, she was called in for a random at a new company that she just started with. Didn't even get her feet wet before she was called in for a random. Man, just think about it. You you just got the job and you, you're getting ready to drive. And then all of a sudden, before you even get out on your first load, you get called in for a random. Mm, mm, mm. Unfortunately for her, she wasn't able to produce enough urine for the test. Let's hear her story. Good afternoon. Um, so I'm making this video today because I am in dire need of help. Um, to any trucker, truck her, anyone that can assist me because I need help, I need answers. As you all know, I uh, just completed um, CDL school with a company. Um, I came home for a week. I ended up getting my truck on the 23rd, I believe which was last Monday. Um, while, while moving on my truck, I um, got selected for a random. So I went and took the random, but I wasn't able to provide enough urine for the second vial as requested. So they made me stay there three hours and take it again, and I still was not able to produce enough um, urine. Uh, long story short, I, uh, it was considered as a refusal. And also I lost my job with the company that I was with. They decided to terminate me uh, due to the fact that I could not provide enough urine. Uh, they considered it as a refusal for shy bladder. I lost my job. And uh, for those of you who know that are in the trucking game, it was put on my clearinghouse. I need help because I lost two careers in one um before i had even got started one of them before i could even get started i feel like i've lost my career they wanted me to go to a through a substance abuse class pay six hundred dollars and um i don't think that i should have to do that reason being um i was not called in for a second uh drug screening the following day anybody has any information on how I can fight this, any lawyers, uh, please let me know uh, to help me get back my life, uh, to help me get the career started um, that I began for school, but not as an actual career making money in. Um, if anyone that could assist me with helping me get this off of my clearinghouse or anyone that will hire me, um, just please, please inbox me. Y'all, seriously, inquiries only. Um, I have really been going through um, this last week, so I don't have, I have like zero tolerance right now for just any games due to the fact that I'm without, I'm without a job. I'm without a career that I worked really, really hard for gaining that, um, that CDLA. And I appreciate you guys so much. God bless you. Man, drivers, what do you guys think, man? Let, let, let us know in the comments below if you guys can give some type of tips for this young lady, man. She couldn't produce and she was considered a refusal. How can you refuse something that you, that you could not produce? She sat there for three hours. Of course, they had to give her some water in increments. Like you, you couldn't just like drink water as much as you want. They, they don't even give you like a bottle of water. They give you 
increments of water in a cup. I, I've been there before. Like, they give you these small cups and they have you to sit there for as long as they have you there. And then after the time is up, you go in there and then you try to produce again. It still wasn't enough for them. It still wasn't enough. So instead of maybe, just maybe, scheduling her for another go around, they just said, nah, you refused. Bro, sis, how am I refusing? I, I just, I just can't go to the bathroom right now. I just, I, I just can't go to the bathroom. Give me about another 30, 40, 40. Give me about another hour or two. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here. I don't have nothing to hide. I'm not hiding nothing. I'm here. I just can't, I, I just can't pee on command. So they refused her. And of course, if you get a refusal, you know what that means. She's automatically put in the FMCSA's clearinghouse. For what? She didn't turn negative. She, she didn't refuse. She just couldn't put out enough that they need. That's a refusal. I need help with this drivers. Drivers, I really, really need help with this. Now I understand if you refuse verbally or, or if you sign in, that's, that's why you don't sign in. Like if, that you're not going to take the test, the, 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 the pre-employment tests don't sign in because if you sign in they already got you in the system and if any for any reason that you have to leave that is considered a refusal but she didn't leave she didn't leave she was there she was she was trying so could this be fought yeah, could, could she get a lawyer? Could the lawyer actually fight that for her? Now I talked to some drivers that was that was able to fight their way out of the FMCSA's clearinghouse. There is a way, but I I just don't know. I don't know, and I I feel bad for this young lady. I really do. I, I really do because that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. She she goes back to work. She just got the job, and unfortunately for her, the job let her go without cause. Didn't even give her a chance to explain. Like, yo, bro, I I I just couldn't pee. I I didn't. I wasn't negative. I wasn't found positive. Ain't nothing in my system. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do nothing. I just couldn't pee on command. And her job was like, well, sorry, you refused. We're gonna have to let you go. But I, she, I didn't refuse. I was there. So drivers, my advice, for real, for real, my advice to you when when it comes time to doing randoms, when it comes time to do the drug test, make sure that you drink plenty of fluids. I kid you not. Like when I go and do my DOT physical, the first thing I do, I, I tell the I tell the DOT doctor, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to go right now. We, we can do all that ear test, eye test, uh, check my heart rate, my blood pressure. You can do all that after I go to the bathroom. I'm ready. I'm, the, it, the pee is ready to come out. That's what I do. I, I drink plenty of water. I, I got my own DOT doctor. I, I drink plenty of water before I go there. And for you guys that get popped for randoms, and y'all have to go there, 
I implore you, I implore you to drink plenty of water while you're on your way there. Don't just go in there and be like, oh yeah, here you go. And then you only pee a little bit in the cup. If you can't get it the first go around, they're gonna keep you. They're gonna keep you for however long it takes. And what they're gonna do is give you those little cups of water. But it, it, that water ain't even enough to, 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 to fill up your bladder. They give you like increments of water every half an hour. I think if they keep you for like three hours, I think they give it to you like every 45 minutes or so or something like that. And it's, an, it's, it's only a certain amount that they give you in increments. So drivers, when you're on your way to get the DOT physical or get a random, drink plenty of water. Not soda, not tea, water. Drink plenty of it. Hell, stop that and get yourself a, a, a liter and just drink it on your way there. So about time you get there, you'll be ready to go. Subscribe for more. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. What you want me on?